Nagodna Banka, the Central Bank of Macedonia, has announced that foreign exchange reserves of Macedonia have increased by 448 million euros, and now they exceed 2.43 billion euros. Now that's a very impressive figure. It means 1,200 euros for, for, for every man, woman and child in Macedonia. Impressive. But is it also real? Well, not really. What are the sources for the foreign exchange reserves of Macedon? First of all, exports. Whenever Macedon Macedonian firms, companies, sell products, goods and services to foreigners, they get back dollars or euros, and these dollars and euros go to the foreign exchange reserves of Macedonia. The second source is foreign direct investment. When foreigners invest in Macedonia, when they build factories, when they buy companies, when they employ people, they bring foreign exchange from their own country into Macedonia. This foreign exchange augments, increases the foreign exchange reserves. These are two good sources. But in Macedonia, there are also three very volatile, very speculative, and very dangerous sources of foreign exchange. The first one is borrowing. Believe it or not, the more Macedonia borrows money abroad, the higher the foreign exchange reserves. The money that Macedonia borrows from foreign banks, from the International Monetary Fund, from the World Bank, and from buyers of Macedonia's eurobonds, foreign obligations, all this money goes into the foreign exchange reserves. So this is the paradox. The more money the state borrows abroad, the more money the government borrows from foreigners, the higher the foreign exchange reserves. But of course, this is an optical illusion. This is not really money that belongs to Macedonia. This is money that Macedonia has to pay back, and very soon. Then there is the second source, remittances, in Macedonian, doznaki. Macedonians who work abroad, or Macedonians who live abroad in the diaspora, send money back home to their families. This money in euros, in Swiss francs, in dollars, this money comes into Macedonia and is directly deposited into the foreign exchange reserves in Macedonia. But remittances depend, the size of the remittances depends very heavily on the global economic uh, cycle. If the global economy is in crisis, remittances go down dramatically. When the global economy recovers, remittances go up dramatically. In Macedonia, remittances range between 1 billion euros a year to 1.5 billion euros a year. That's not the way to build stable foreign exchange reserves. You can't rely on a cyclical inflow of money, which may or may not come. But this is precisely what Macedonia is doing. Its foreign exchange reserves rely on borrowing and on remittances. Finally, Macedonia owns 6.8 tons, 6,800 kilograms of gold. It owns twice as much gold as Slovenia. It, owes, it owns 50% more gold than the United States when we compare it to the size of the GDP of the economy. So Macedonia has a lot of gold. What's wrong with it? Well, the price of gold tends to go up, but also tends to go down. It is an investment vehicle. It is a speculative investment. 11% of the foreign exchange reserves of Macedonia are invested in gold. Macedonia is betting on the price of gold. And you should never bet your foreign exchange reserves on any single investment. In 2013, Macedonia lost 135 million euros because the price of gold went down. Okay, so the foreign exchange reserves of Macedonia are built on foundations which are not solid, which are speculative, which can even be dangerous. They go up and down by hundreds of millions of euros because of various components which are outside the control of Macedonia. What's wrong with it? Why do we need foreign exchange reserves? What are we going to do with foreign exchange reserves? Well, foreign exchange reserves are very important to the economy. First of all, the country uses foreign exchange reserves to buy imports. For instance, to buy food, to buy energy, and to pay for various products, 
including cars. Foreign exchange reserves are the main source to finance imports. Second, foreign exchange reserves are used in order to stabilize the Macedonian dollars against the euro. The stable exchange rate of the Macedonian dollar depends on the fact that Macedonia has a lot of foreign exchange reserves. And finally, foreign exchange reserves are used to pay back the debts of the country. As Greece has just discovered, if your foreign exchange reserves are not realistic, if they are low, if they are heavily dependent on foreign borrowing, the whole economy may be in serious crisis. Macedonia's real foreign exchange reserves are much smaller than the foreign exchange reserves reported. The National Bank of Macedonia may decide to begin to report truthfully about the size of the foreign exchange reserves using the new methodology of new international reserves reporting. It's about time.